Placencia cigars. Perfected for more than 150 years. Yours to enjoy now. Stogie Geeks, welcome to segment two of episode 320 of Stogie Geeks. I'm your host, Joe Zeppa. Joined by my co-host from Texas, Mr. Drew Gavin. Today, hey. we are going to... Stick of the Week is... The Placencia El Forte. Uh, the specific stick I am smoking is the Robusto. It's a 5 and 1 fourth by 52. A wrapper, binder, and filler are wicked awesome. The taste oh, yeah. is wicked flavorful. No. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yes, uh, Drew, have you had the opportunity to even test this remarkable piece of premium mm. tobacco? Oh, yeah. So my favorite. I mean, as always. I mean, you get that. You get that chocolate in there, and you get that plum. Mm. Uh, you get that uh, oak, and then you get the sweetness in the end, which I couldn't describe it for a while. But I finally went to my cheat sheet, and uh, it is a molasses. It's there. And mm -hmm. I, I was putting. I was putting syrup, and I was like, no, it's not syrup. It's beyond maple. Yep. So, but yeah, it just really, really tasty cigar. Uh, enjoyable. Smoke content, as you as you've been speaking about as of late, uh, really nice and uh, uh, surrounds the palate and just it's it's a great a great cigar. Uh, with us doing these sticks of the week and us kind of clustering Placencia, right as we've been doing on the show, um, yeah. it, it's it's not a methodology in my tenure here uh, since uh, twenty seventeen. Um, to do them in a cluster. And what I like about doing them in a cluster um, is that I can reflect back on something I had a couple weeks ago or a couple episodes ago and do yeah. a true compare and co contrast uh, as opposed to, like, you know, flipping through the story. What did I say? What, you know, what, what, what did right. I say? And, and uh, I want to talk about the kind of complexity, flavor, and balance of this before we get into wrapper, binder, filler, and 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 what we would review it. Um, sure. In the beginning sticks that we've done in this series, right? Uh, so far, we have done the Cosecha One Four Six, the Elmo Del Campo. We've done the 2019 uh, Cigar Aficionado Rank Cigar Elmo Del Fuego. Uh, we've done the Placencia Reserva Original, and now we have the uh, Alma Forte. And uh -huh. I've noticed with the first two, the Cosecha and the Elma del Campo, and we, we talked about this with, with Nestor on, on episode uh, 319 of Story Geeks, where there was a thicker smoke content, right? Mm -hmm. And um, to me, it wasn't there on the... Um, the reserve of the reserve original kind of back okay. down a little bit right yeah. as far as like the, the 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 real thickness and the creaminess of the smoke like i'm trying to elaborate this right the complexity yeah. of that um that subsides texture wise with me it subsides with uh those two the cosecha 146 and the elmo del campo but it yeah. reminds me of like the con the smoke content of the Reserva Original. What I like about this one, which is the uh, Elma Forte, what I like about this one better than the Reserva Original is the complexity of the taste. So I want to elaborate more on that. I wanted to explain that first as best I could. That was the best I could, right? <laughs> uh, you know, <laughs> and 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 then I wanted to kind of. Think about uh, and, and, and kind of talk a little bit about the taste, right? Because yeah, yeah. you, if uh, you, what I notice about Placencia cigars, and what I've noticed about in in in, in doing this in cadence, um, like we've been doing, is also reflecting how I'm delivering my other sticks of the week too. Because when I make recommendations later on in the segment, um, it, it brings up the point I'm about to bring now. Like when you smoke them slow, right? And if you get the right size, that 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 that's for you. But you're able to bullet cut it, or or cat eye, or, or V cut it. Yeah. You can and, and you smoke it slow. You really get the nuances, and you hit it right on the head. Where it's not like maple syrup, but you do get some sort of a plum molasses yeah. lingering on on your palate. But you also oh, get yeah. spice, 
right? Yep. And um, I'm going to have to go with a white pepper. Yeah. Think so? Yes. No, I'm yeah. with you on that. Because, uh, you know, that's one of the that's one of my favorite spices, uh, anyhow, in my food processes is the white pepper. Mm -hmm. uh, I know when I eat a lot of Italian food, my wife's Italian, so um, I always tell her to throw extra white pepper in there, especially when we're making like a frutta de mare mm. uh, dish. Oh, man. You're talking about those flavors come through. But on the on the smoke side of things, it's a more uh, dry, more uh, complex uh but you can definitely search it out you know with the retro and then with like i said with with, with the uh the smoke content for sure like i said when that smoke content when i people ask me about that recently because we've been talking about that quite a bit and i said look you just you just take a good draw i mean take a decent draw take a regular draw and you're gonna your mouth is just gonna be everything through your teeth <laughs> your gums in your tongue just in your mouth it's just gonna be there and it's just like very uh cumulus you know and cumulus. just let yeah just let just let those 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 senses and the flavors really just rain down on your palate and go through your mouth and then send it outward yeah cumulus yeah. right you yeah. you said that as an adjective yes. right i who happened to work for the second largest radio producer uh, there when you say cumulus, I'm like, Ugh. <laughs> but anyway, former employer, <laughs> right? <It's> like, <laughs> but you know, that cu cumulus would not be a word I would use, but I could see yeah. where you would use cumulus to describe this cigar. You yeah, know what I mean? Yeah. I would probably try to use every other word but that word. But <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm a, you know, I digress, right? Yeah, I, I'm, I'm with uh, that with the party. <laughs> when, when people say, "Oh, it's a party in my mouth," I'm like. Mm. <laughs> Potty in your mouth. <laughs> <Woo -hoo. laughs> Absolutely. Uh, rapper Brian DeFiller obviously is all from okay. Nicaragua. Um, digging in a little bit deeper into um, what is going on in there. The primary component is a Criollo 98. Um, and it has a strong blend of tobacco from four Nicaraguan regions. Esteli. Condega, Jalapa, and Ometepe. So, uh, you know, I've had, we, well, I've, we've, we've, every, like I'm Captain Obvious here, right? We've had Nicaraguan cigars, uh, you know, just from Esteli, uh, you know, and then some, you know, Ometepe, ha the, the, the Jalapa Valley, right? And, and you're, you, now in this particular cigar, they're using that across. And I think yeah. that that's really making the, the complexity component really come out in the stick for sure. Yeah. You know? Definitely agree with that. Would you go as far as saying this is the strongest of what you've had so far? It is. Uh, I'm, I'm kind of there. I'm kind of there. Yeah. I mean, I yeah. mean the, the, the cosecha really stands out for me. Yeah. Right. And it after is, when it, we do this series, we'll get into our favorite and, and whatever. But, it, you know, I don't know. Yeah. It is. I mean, I, I I was thinking about the six though, and I'm thinking just because of its larger ring gauge, it, it probably just dialed down just a bit. But definitely the flavors are there. Going back to the robusto stick, uh, uh, yeah, it really comes through, and that's why I, I smoke a lot of the robusto size sticks because just for that, uh, just for that purpose, you know, you really get a sense of what the other sticks are going to be like as the ring gauge gets larger or, you know, gets uh, uh, more into a smaller uh, size. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 Speaking of you size. You can kind of guess. What? You can kind of guess where it's going to go uh, in the complexity, uh, you know, with, with, with the larger, with the larger rings, uh, uh, gate, you know, ring gate size. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Speaking of sizes, it is available in four different sizes. You have the Salomon. Uh, seven by fifty-eight. The Toro, six and one fourth by fifty-four. The Robusto, which is what we're having now, which is yes. five and one fourth by fifty-two, and the Hexagono, which Nesta had spoke about that interesting uh, size and creation there. So if you're tuning into episode three twenty and you missed three nineteen, I think that mm -hmm. is uh, a definite must go back and watch if you want to hear what Nesta Placencia has to say uh, for sure. Uh, and the hexagonal is a six by sixty, mm -hmm. but it's pressed, 
So it's pressed it's and it's pr- six sided. Uh, six sided. Yeah. Yeah, Desi sent you. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I was going through, uh, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. So, yeah, it's available in those four different sizes. Um, like, like like Drew said, you, you, if you smoke it, like Drew and I said, if you smoke it slow, uh, you're going to get hints of, doc, cho- uh, of, of of chocolate, a little bit of taste of molasses, oak, a um, little bit of earthiness for me. It's getting yeah. not not too much. Like, I, I'm, I can taste... Uh, uh, I believe the word you used was uh, dry. It's 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 a little drier. On, it was on the, more on the hay side for me. You say earthy, but I think we're there. Mm-hmm. Hey, yeah, mm. Mm. just a skoosh, mm. skosh. How do you say that? Skoosh, skosh. What's the word you use? Scotch. <laughs> Scotch. There it's you a, go. It's a scotch. <laughs> no, yeah, it does. And and the the retro hail. Yes. Is very strong, like yeah. ve- like the if 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 we were talking retro hail by far out of all the ones that we've done in the series so far retro hail this is the strongest. Like oh, you yeah. you uh, I even sometimes have to like you know hit the cough button over here and and give it like that. You know what I mean? If 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 it needs to like so it's almost there. Like where it would kind of be like you know like like make you a little itchy if you're you know what I'm saying like you, you get a right. sensation. Uh, yes. Of of strength when you're doing the retro hail for sure, and that's why I, I asked you like, do you think that this is the strongest one? And and I I think so so far. Yeah, you know, one of the discussions I've been having lately with other people as well. I mean, just in the line of other a lot of other things that we talk about is you know that they they go through the phases of red pepper, black pepper, white pepper, uh, green pepper, and I just tell them I said you just got to go through and. Uh, you know, get just go to go into the spice stores and kind of get that on your palate. Just test it out uh, and become, you know, it, it kind of locks in your memory. So when you go smoke it, I mean, it's not going to taste exactly like that, but we're talking about smoke content at this point. But you'll you'll be able to search out that flavor without really overthinking the cigar as you're enjoying it. Mm-hmm. Now I'm about to say something that could be um, different. From what mm-hmm. I normally say, I am pairing it with drink of choice, Bloody Mary, right? Um, <laughs> it's That's got re- it, 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 it's re- and and they always make them spicy. It's got little peppuccino peppuccinos in there, and they oh, get yeah. rowdy next door. But um, nice. real contrast with that. Like it for me, it doesn't suck because I I like. Cigars and Bloody Marys, I like, but I would probably, if I were making a recommendation for a, for us our Stogie Geeks listeners, I would say you'd have to go uh, rum or uh, scotch if that's your thing. Yeah, whiskey. I think maybe uh, if it was a blended whiskey, you know how they do those kind of sixty percent this, sixty percent that, or, or yeah, sixty. I can't even do math, right? Sixty percent this, forty percent this, or eighteen. You know how they do like a mix whiskey? I think sure. that would go blended. good straight whiskey. I'm not too sure. Um, yeah. Scotch for sure, uh, but Bloody Marys, it's real different. Like yeah. it's it's like when when I have it, it's like a, 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 I pivot towards the Bloody Mary after I have a sip, and then I go back to the cigar. And it, it's not pairing bad with the Bloody Mary. I just, if if I were making a recommendation, um, yeah. I don't know if it's the it's if it's too complex here to have it kind of be kind of like different from from Bloody Mary as opposed to like because some cigars when I'm pairing them with Bloody Marys and I you know talk about sticks or whatever like when I say like I would like totally put like it's, I could almost like dip. The cigar and the Bloody Mary and just suck on the cigar, and not lit. Like it's like, oh my god, this is like a great pairing. So, um, thinking about what I would pair it with uh, next, um, I would probably go uh, something low key, like like a sweet rum, not like yeah. a a coconut rum, but like a, a rum because it's sweeter. Um, yeah. Scotch, if I really wanted to get rowdy. Um, yeah. They are like you know, like, like, like an, uh, a real aged Scots and 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 sip it uh, there, um, or yeah. a blended uh, type whiskey. And yeah. uh, there was one other one that <clears throat> I would, I would, I would go uh, with. Maybe you'll mention it, but what what would you pair it with? I would pair it definitely with a single malt scotch, twelve year, fourteen year. 
with that um, on the stronger end of it, uh, spectrum of it. I would back that down with, if I was going to drink a, a blended whiskey, I would definitely do something like a Johnny Wa a Walker blend, <clears throat> red or even black, because it, it'll tend to cool this down just a little bit uh, because you're, you're, you're smoking a full body cigar. Um, so yeah, to cool it down a little bit, I would definitely go blend. If I'm doing what I normally do, coffees, uh, I, de I definitely do this with a chai, like a chai. Because of the uh, sweetness, right. Yes, yeah. yes, yep. Co yep. coffee. Uh, the spices there, because it's got cinnamon already, so you're going to complement that with the nutmeg and the other spices that are in your beverage in my coffee. So, yeah, those those are those are my go-to um, right off the bat. And if I really want to get really rowdy, then I just go to my double IPAs <laughs> and mm. I start tapping in there mm. and I start I start looking something with a little bit more of a floral, but yet give it, uh, still have that hoppiness to it um, just to just to aggravate it and, and make my palate really uh, work. You know? Yeah. Yeah. If you were going oh. IPA, we, we got to do an IPA um, segment, too, of different of different craft beers. And oh, yeah. I mean, ultra craft. I'm not talking you go to your your uh liquor store and get and i know you can get craft beer at a liquor store but like go to like i'm sure you have some breweries down in texas oh and, man and, <laughs> yeah i mean we, we have like tons as well but it'd be cool yeah. for the for the story geeks li listener as well because the, the different regions right like yeah. totally uh, that, yeah. I, I, that that's why i like truly enjoy our sticks of the week segment because you know you we can get into that uh there but yeah this stick uh is uh obviously ranked uh, it it got a 93. Um, the Placencia ML Forte. What would you uh, rate it for Stoy Geeks rating? I I do a box split with uh, with you. Uh, mm -hmm. It was by myself. I definitely get a box, but because um, they they age nice, uh, they they don't they don't lose uh, any content whatsoever. Um, so well well manufactured cigar. Uh, Placencia has done a great job in and and you know, with the blends. And so, uh, with this cigar, you can't go wrong. But I, I do a box split with you. Um, okay. Yeah. Cool. I, I, I do a box. I yeah. do a box all day. They're, they're, uh, they're, they're awesome. I mean, you know, and and you know, uh, I, I, I just, I'm, I'm really glad that we've decided to do this series kind of clustered, as opposed mm -hmm. to, to a spread out because it's like I've been on um, a super huge Placencia kick. Uh, there as well, uh, outside of the reviews and just in my general travels around. For you story geeks who are listening or watching, if you want to find a retailer that carries Placencia near you, go to storygeeks.com, click on the Placencia logo, type in your zip code, and away you go. Um, yeah. If they're not near you, find a shop and call them and give them a card and do it up. You won't be disappointed. Yes, uh, Havana next door have those? Uh, no. Not yet? Nope, nope. There, there's one, there, there, there's a couple shops in Rhode Island that, that really carry it. I mean, you go down to South Florida, they're freaking everywhere. Right, you know right. what I mean? And, you know, but then again, there's a lot of places in South Florida that are freaking everywhere. You know? Right. And, and consumers, I mean, uh, it, me on the streets as Joe Hosempa, non stogie geeks, they always get, yeah, you know, but they're, but they're freaking, you know, I can't get over the $14 price point. And I'm like, hmm. Of, and I'm like, dude, uh, you're going to pay $10, and that stick, this is going to last, like, you twice as long. You know what I mean? Right. Like, I mean, it, it, it's $4. And if you can't get over the $14 price point, you should have tuned in to episode 320, segment one, where we're talking about predicates, because you we're going for a ride if that goes through, whether, right. whether it does or not. So, you know, <laughs> I mean, I don't know. If it's something I enjoy, I mean, I'll, I'll put up the extra scratch. What are you going to do? Hey, you know I paid I mean? nine. I paid what ninety five bucks for my uh, Cohiba Spectra, and uh, that was I wasn't really too. Rip. I mean, it was it was okay. It was okay. Uh, okay, I have you know. <laughs> yeah, it was okay. I can't tell you my. Remind me next week. Tell you about my Cohiba Spectra story. I, I probably said it to you, yeah. but uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, okay, Anyways, so anyway, go to StoryGeeks dot com. Click on the Placencia logo, go to, uh, type in your zip code, spend some time on their website, uh, take a picture of them. No, take a picture of your Placencia stick, 
Use the hashtag yes. Stogie Geeks, and we'll be able to keep the conversation going on. I am on the Twitter, tweeting around, uh, and Facebook. You can just type in Drew or myself, or go to StogieGeeks.com forward slash 320, and you'll have the links to both Drew and our social media. Drew, what else have you awesome. been smoking? Let, so, let's well, pivot. <clears throat> All right, let's pivot. Uh, the Perdomo Special Craft Series Maduro, uh, six by sixty. Uh, it's a hand. It's a handcraft. It's handcrafted. It's touted to be handcrafted for beer enthusiasts. Uh, origin is Nicaragua. Uh, wrapper Nica. Uh, binder is Cuban seed Nica, and then uh, filler. So Nica, uh, Nicaraguan cigar all the way through. Uh, medium to full body. Uh, this cigar here was just something that was given to me. Uh, Someone said, hey, try this out. You know, we know you like beer. So there I was with my uh, double uh, arrogant bastard uh, beer <laughs> from, Stone, from Stone Brewery uh, back in my hometown, San Diego. Uh, so, yeah, I drank that, had this cigar. And it, 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 it was a, a very nice uh, burning cigar, had good smoke uh, to it. Uh, wasn't too heavy, just a, a light to medium smoke. Uh, complex flavors. Uh with it for sure uh dark chocolate you're gonna get dark chocolate you're gonna get some espresso in there uh the sweetness comes from the uh i wasn't sure if it's coming from my 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 beer or the cigar but uh <laughs> there was a little <laughs> bit of sweetness of uh of spice in there uh teetering more on the side of uh cinnamon um and then from there just uh really nice creamy rich aroma um uh uh, aroma to it. Other than that, uh, it was it was a decent cigar. Uh, I, I definitely would buy. A, I would rate it a fiver. Um, you know, if you're a beer drinker, you can you can pair this with uh, a stout, uh, a porter, a brown ale. Uh, you know, a, a dunkel or a, or an imperial stout, uh, for that matter. Uh, also in their line, though, they have other cigars. If you go to the website, if you go to Perdomo's website. They have that craft series uh, cigars. I think they got uh, five different offerings, and they're paired with light beers, um, uh, really heavy IPA beers, and 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 stout beers and things of that nature. So, um, but the one I was given to me, I, I tried it, and it was you know it's pretty decent. So, uh, fiver for sure. There you go. I had yeah. the Falto Mentor. This is the Toro blended in honor of the man who taught Louis Falto everything he knows about tobacco and cigars. That would be Manuel Anoa. Yeah. The cigar is complex. It carries a great balance between full and it has subtle tones of nuts and coffee. It's available in one size. It's the Toro 5x75x54. Five, uh, five uh, it's available in boxes of 20. What I like Interesting about the business methodology and delivery of Falto is all of his cigars are all one size and different blends. We can get into that. Story Geeks, you can go into storygeeks.com, type in Louis Falto. I had the privilege and honor to interview him uh, uh, well over a year ago uh, there. And um, he comes into town for us. Uh, at least three or four times a year, and if I can drag him from Domino's, then he would come back on Story Geeks. But um, last time he was in town, he wanted to play Domino's. So I don't know if I should take offense to that, but either way, in regards to the stick, I would absolutely give this stick a box split uh, because of its history and you know how each blend is different. You might even go box split with a friend. Um, your wrapper is Ecuador. Your binder is Sumatra from Brazil and Cameroon. And your filler is Dominican, Brazil with Nicaragua. And again, I would give it a box split. Nice. I haven't had that, but I've heard a lot about that cigar. Yeah. So, so I'm looking forward. Uh, if anybody wants to send me that cigar, I'll happily accept it. I have a <laughs> boatload of them. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, now, I, now I'm compiling a list. Wait I know what to stay. I, I can get you a bunch of Faltos. Where's my package at? Just so you know, Drew, all kidding aside, the UPS Samantha, uh, our, our director of operations, put your mailbox on my desk. So I have oh, the USPS what? thing there. And she's like, don't forget, don't forget. So I, it's, it's, it's in 
It's in production. But no, I'm going to go next door and grab some for you. All right, no, that's cool. <laughs> Thank you, sir. <laughs> All right. All right. So I'm going to pivot into Good. the Monty. Uh, I was going to say, it'll be there before Christmas, I promise. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Yeah. I look forward to it. Make sure you wrap it in Christmas wrapper then. Right. That way I can <laughs> have something. <laughs> So the Monte Cristo, uh, yeah. number two, <laughs> was my next cigar. Uh, yep. had, so, so have you had plenty of these? Because I have. Oh, yeah. Yep. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Yeah, the Monte 2 is what it's called. It's what it's known as. I had a 6 by uh, 52 uh, It's created in Cuba by Alonzo Menendez in 1935 and became uh, a best known uh, of all cigars rolled at uh, Menendez Garcia, uh, the, uh, the biggest cigar company in pre-Castro Cuba. Uh, so I had... I don't know what ha- I don't know what happened. All of a sudden, I had a uh, friends pivoting around Florida into Cuba. Any- anyways, all of a sudden, I got some of these delicious cigars, and I'll tell you, you talk about a classic cigar uh, facing for sure. I mean, this this is uh, a, a Cuba wrap, uh, origin is Cuba wrapper, Cuba binder filler, Cuban. Uh, you're definitely going to get a medium body smoke out of this throughout the entire experience. Uh, it is not for the, uh, you know, it, it's, you just got to get into it because it's a classic facing. And then from there, let the experience take you uh, on a journey. So uh, taste notes on this one was uh, consistent leather and wood uh, at, the, at the beginning. And then it just trans transitioned into uh, a, a little bit of the lighter spice and nutmeg, uh, a little bit of cinnamon, just a touch of cinnamon. Uh, other than that, uh, the creaminess, I believe, was coming like from an almond. Um, maybe uh, a little bit of a, a sweetness of, of dried fruit. Uh, but it stayed pretty pretty consistent. Uh, it's not a real big, you know, it's not a nothing really uh, time wise smoker i mean i think i went through this stick in i want to say just over an hour like an hour and three minutes hour and four minutes something like that Uh something crazy i kept time of it because i have a timer because my wife is like hey in an hour i need you to come in and do something so (laughs) (laughs) you're thinking through the humor of trying to find what's gonna last about an hour or an hour and 20 minutes if you were me stretching it (laughs) exactly So, uh, no, but this cigar, uh, as I said, I mean, just very, very consistent. Burn was consistent. Uh, I didn't ask if they were from Cuba. I'm just going to assume that somebody brought me some gifts, and they brought them, you know, however they got here, they got here. But, man, um, I've been very fortunate to grab uh, at least uh, 16 of these sticks altogether. Yeah. So, (laughs) yeah. Uh, (laughs) Yeah. I gave this a uh, rating of a box split. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, I would definitely would split it with someone. Um, uh, and, and again, uh, thank you, uh, my friends who brought those over for me. I really appreciate them. Uh, and, uh, of course, I, I, I sent you guys some barter sticks uh, because I'm a good uh, receiver and passer of other sticks that I come across. So um, very nice. 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 Yeah, that's a good rating. I mean, I'd give it a box split or a box all day long uh, for mm-hmm. sure, you know, if you can get your hands on them, definitely. Okay. I had yeah. the Viaje Centauri Zen. What? Right. <laughs> Wouldn't be a story each episode if I didn't use the word Tatuaje or Viaje in a sentence. So there you go. <laughs> uh, rapper is a Nicaraguan Oscuro, binder and filler on Nicaraguan. The size is a six and three fourths by fifty-two. It's a double torpedo. They come in boxes of twenty-five. Um, I it's available in three different sizes. You have the Viaje Centore Kama, Nirvana, and Zen. Uh, I've actually had the Kama, the Kama as well. Um, you know every uh, everything. Uh, everything you would expect if if you can get your your hands on this stick. Uh, it's an yeah. older stick uh, that had uh, come out of an IPCPR show uh, a couple of years back, and um, you know you you can certainly uh, they they made a hundred 
they're kind of limited, right? Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, you know, they had 150 boxes of 25, only 3,750 total cigars that were out. Um, that's not a lot, but if you uh, know of a local tobacconist who carries uh, Viaje, I would venture to say, even though they're not on the shelf, ask them if they have some. They might have some in the back for you to do that uh, there, or you can go on a wild goose chase to try to find some. There are a few that are still out there lingering for sure. Um, but yeah, what I like about the Viaje uh, series is is, uh, is it reminds me of of like organic uh, organic beer, mm. where you can almost taste the freshness, and there's a freshness on your palate there. But uh, also, what I like about it is you also get that classic Nicaraguan pepper. Um, and when I was smoking this smoke this week, when I had it, it kind of reminded me of a newer stick that Viaje puts out called the Viaje Antidote. So it had that kind of spiciness to it uh, there as well. It just kind of reminded me of that. So, um, yeah. you know, certainly a fan of the brand for sure. Uh, I don't like sending story geeks on a wild goose chase. So, you know, I would definitely give it a box split because it, it certainly uh, get, gets a, a, a higher rating. But you might not be able to even go and, and buy more than three or four if they're lingering in a shop. Uh, sure. Near you, that would probably be the only chance you would have. Or if you have a friend who is a collector, or mm -hmm. um, was a fan of Viavi, or still is, and want and, and, and has some for trade, there you go. Something to there talk about on your forums. There you go. Oh, yeah. So yeah, absolutely. What else, Drew? Yeah, I like the cigar trading uh, deal. I, I I'm on a couple of those forums, and man, I've had some. I've got some great stuff. Uh, I got to go through it and just kind of make sure everything looks good and mm -hmm. and then enjoy those. But yeah, I love that. And I think that's a great, uh, for being a consumer, uh, it's awesome, you know, to kind of have these people all over the, all over the world, uh, you know, that I have in my Facebook following and we just trade information and then we talk about sticks, uh, on the back scene and then we, and then we ended up trading. <laughs> it's cool. pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah. So the next one I got was uh, uh, was a Cadwell, uh, La Barba Purple. Caldwell. Have you ever? Caldwell. Caldwell. Yes. Yep. Cald Cald excuse me. Caldwell. I'm in Texas. Come on, y'all. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, so uh, Caldwell, uh, La Barba Purple. Have you had any of their? Yep. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I've, I've yep. been, I've been, I've been into Caldwell. Um, okay. There's a local shop. Churchill Smoke Shop and Lounge, um, hmm. who was also my original uh, sponsor for Cigar Club Radio. Um, okay. You know, uh, they, they have a lot of Caldwell in there, for sure. Even nice. their collaboration pieces, and they've always been pretty pretty big in, into Caldwell. So I've had both the Labobs, the, the purple and, and the original one that had hmm. come out as well. I was in New Orleans a couple of weeks, uh, about a week and a half ago, so I was driving through there, and I stopped by this. Uh, brick and mortar shop, and that's where I picked these up. Uh, they were on special, so I'm like, I'll take four of those. <laughs> so, uh, anyhow, uh, Tobacco Lira William uh, Ventura, uh, Ventura, uh, out of the Dominican Republic, the rapper Ecuadorian Habano, uh, Biner, uh, Dominican Corojo, and then a uh, filler Dominican uh, and a Corojo blend. Um, there, the blender is Tony Baletto, he's a sommelier. Uh, certified sommelier uh, with the Wine and Spirit Education Trust. Uh, the Vitola, uh, they offered four different Vitolas, uh, 46 by six by six <laughs> and three quarters. Uh, and then the uh, Robusto, five by 50, uh, 50 by five by 50, and then a 40 by seven by 40, and then a 60 by six. So uh, six by 60. Uh, taste notes on this. Uh, again, uh, uh, from what I understand, this these this tobaccos are 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 uh, aged in barrels, uh, so they definitely uh, uh, sucked in or got fermented uh, from the wood, uh, you know, seeping their their uh, their flavors into the tobacco. Uh, very sweet, uh, uh, a lot of cherry. Uh, you, de you definitely get a lot of spice in there, uh, a mixture of spice. I really wouldn't call it baking spice. I know some people go, you know, well, what kind of spice is baking spice? And I'm like, look it up. 
<laughs> uh, if you have to, if you have to ask me, <laughs> then look it up, please. But anyhow, uh, 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 fragrant, uh, floral uh, towards the end, and just you know, just a a, a, a very uh, uh, you get some of that tartiness in there, uh, which I think is more of the earth, uh, kind of balancing that spice. Uh, that sweetness, excuse me, uh, but otherwise, just uh, it burned pretty, uh, it burned pretty inconsistent. Uh, I'm not sure how long they had them there, but you know, as I said, I think I paid, um, I want to say like six bucks a stick. Mm-hmm. Uh, the first one was 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 burned at even. The second one was a lot better. The third one was back to the first one, and then the, the finally the other one, I just kind of. Um, you know, went through it pretty quick and uh, thought, okay, well, this this journey's over. But uh, I give it a try one on the Stogie Geeks rating. Um, you know, it's just like with some of the Nub cigars and some of the, uh, those, uh, what do you call those, uh, Java cigars. Sure, yeah. Yeah, this is too sweet for me. Um, you know, but like I said, I, got, I mean, they're, they're, they, I spent, what, a total of 12 bucks on four cigars. I mean, that's a, that's a deal <laughs> anytime. Uh, and, and it was an experience. So. Um, but, uh, again, uh, I'm not sure if that's, uh, a fair, uh, assessment of that cigar. Cause I, I, again, I don't know how well they've been kept there. Um, they were out in the open, uh, by the register and it said special. Sure. So sure. I yeah. The they're probably just, uh, you know, what, what I've noticed with, with, uh, uh, I'd even go as far as saying like, they're like ultra boutique as well. Uh, I know, uh-huh. I know Cor- Corporate Caldwell, uh, is heavily into the art scene as well. They have a whole yeah. underground art, art, art gig uh, yeah. there, there too. Um, I, I'm not necessarily disagreeing with your rating on that particular cigar, but uh, they, they certainly have some better offerings uh, out yeah. there for sure. And and having that stick in a bargain bin really mm-hmm. does it no justice for sure. It doesn't do the brand right. justice, but right. you know if they wanted to blow them out, they blow them out that's how they want to run their business that's fine but sure um i just think that um you know if 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 you i'll try to put caldwell on the list with faltos as well and see if sure. i could kind of uh skew your rating system for for them a little bit up uh sure th- no, I mean, well. I, but yeah I, i'm like i said yeah. i've 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 had it i'd probably maybe give it a fiver at tops okay. for sure um you know uh may, maybe a try one um there I haven't had one in a while, uh, and again, uh, they're what I call. This is my my word that I like. They're like really ultra boutique, I think. And so, uh-huh. if they're out of sight, they get out of mind, and and in a way, in a way, it goes. So you know, you sure. always gotta have your boots on the ground, uh, sure. as we know, especially when it comes to the retail there. Yeah. So yeah, yeah, and I yeah, when I was looking at the second one, I looked at it more closely, and you can tell that this thing had been been moved around for some time sure uh pro- pro- it was probably the first box they got and you could just the box look a little bit you know like it had a bunch of scratches on the side from people trying to shove other boxes beside it you could just tell that they were like that but yeah when they put them out there i'm like uh, you know I, i've come across some some bargain cigars man they were just really phenomenal mm-hmm. um when I, I sometimes i'll get some romeo and juliet's uh like i just recently got some <laughs> yeah. at a bargain price i was like what i'll take the whole box yeah. yeah do you have time to do two more sticks or do you want to do one and can i and if you want to do one do can i pick one yeah yeah i'll go ahead i'm gonna do one more and then i gotta fly yep gotcha uh i'm gonna do i'm gonna pick the McAuliffe, connecticut McAuliffe, connecticut okay so that one there as you know it is a uh, uh each tobacco leaf uh uh in the McAuliffe, connecticut cigar has been aged for four years mm-hmm. uh and each cigar has been aged for one year before it ships out. Uh, medium body, uh, for sure. Uh, wrapper, Ecuadorian, Connecticut. Binder, Nica Habano. And filler, uh, Nicaragua. Uh, and Dominican filler. Uh, Vitolas, they have it in three different Vitolas. They got a Robusto, Toro, and a Gordo. Uh, taste notes on this bad boy is, I mean, I'm, a, I'm, I'm just going to tell you right now. I haven't had a bad experience with McCallum. Matter of fact, my cigar that I'm going out with tonight is my Lajero. Uh, I got a Lajero in my humidor, my travel humidor, and a Matafina uh, for tonight's uh, shenanigans my wife and I are going to get into. Yeah, man. <laughs> yeah, so uh, I got those two sticks in my travel humidor. At Notes of cedar, uh, you definitely get the almond, uh, the creaminess of an almond there. 
you get a very uh, slight spice of nutmeg, uh, coffee, um, and then you also get that real sweet uh, caramel finish. So this cigar, I mean, very, very, uh, uh, the way it looks, very transparent. Uh, the You know, everything was nice about it, the construction, uh, the the bands uh, that are on there, uh, very nice, very decorative. Um, a lot of uh, a lot of uh, history there with the uh, uh, Garcia family that 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 uh, uh, that these come out of. Uh, but uh, yeah, uh, cigar burned nicely. Didn't have to didn't have to relight it once. Uh, and I've had I'm gonna say I've had about uh, five of these uh, so far, and I have not been disappointed. Not one bit. Uh, smoke content and um, the, on this one is more on the uh, on the medium side. It's not really too uh, very cumulus. <laughs> nice. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it, you know, you take a draw of the cigar, and it's not like you get a nice big thick uh, cloud of smoke in there. You just get this real nice light uh, medium. Uh, uh, smoke in there and and the cedar just comes through nicely and just bounces around uh and then when you retro hell uh you definitely get that spice of nutmeg coming through um but just a really enjoyable cigar cool what'd you rate it i gave it uh a fiver okay um you know and again it's 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 a medium body cigar um but i smoked it again just Three nights ago, and I gave it a I gave it a box split. Yep. You know because I I keep you know I have a little book I have to show you my book, and it just has a bunch and little you know check marks and squares and triangles and you know kind of things that I have uh, to uh, map myself as I'm smoking these cigars. There you go. You have to share that process with us. That'd be a good oh, episode yeah, yeah. too. That'd be a good yeah. episode too. How do you rate cigars and you know what I mean? Yeah. I, <laughs> what do all the what do all the symbols mean, Andrew? I say every time I'm in the cigar lounge, you're looking at somebody. Will, I'll leave a book open, go use the restroom or something, and they're like, "What is all this triangles? What is this percent sign? What did, what the hell does that mean?" <laughs> that'd be a cool. So. That'd be cool to to get in because I'm sure we all have our different methodology of what we try to get. That'd be a good episode to to sure. to, to to talk about uh, our process yeah. uh, there. I have a I, I have a book as well that that I go through some stuff and and. Uh, nice. You know, some were more detailed than others, but uh, yeah, it's it's um, but that'd be good to go. So we definitely need to to f- further that discussion uh, as well. You know, yeah. so it's Friday uh, night and we're getting ready to go, right? <laughs> yeah, you'll be you'll be impressed with my uh, my book. Uh, I, I I keep them in those little uh, books you used to use in college. You know what do you call those composition um, position book? There you go. And so I have you know. A set of them and they look pretty cool there you go and, uh, and yeah. it's it's interesting because you just bounce back and forth with a cigar you've had in the past and it's and, amazing how it, 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 like it's similar to like keeping a journal right you know if you oh, if yeah. you write down everything that bothered you or excited you or whatever your journey is right however you want to do oh, yeah. it and then you go back 30 days later and read it, and you'll be like, that bothered me? <laughs> like, really? <laughs> like, oh, you my know, God. Like, freaking, you know. <laughs> you know, so. You and know. just to let you guys know, I, I go through everything. I mean, I, I the, the beginning of my notes begin with what kind of day I had, you know, just kind of a, a little journal. Yeah. Uh, what kind of day I had, you know, what was the most uh, enjoyable part of my day? What was the most you know, unenjoyable part of my day. And I just kind of go through that, what I had for lunch, mm-hmm. because a lot of people, you know, don't realize that sometimes what you eat later, when you go have a, uh, a stogie, uh, it will counterbalance or it'll counteract with whatever flavors are left on your tongue with the cigar. You just fired up. Especially so. if it was a heavy meal or a light meal and all that. Yeah. Well, we'll get into that. Oh, yeah, 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 definitely. Anyways. No, definitely. No, we, 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 we should do that more sooner than later. Yeah. Um, there, I'll pull up some old, some older journals that I have yeah. as well, and and bring them into the office so that I have them at least on my desk when we want to pivot to that episode. So, nice. uh, anyway, uh, Story Geeks, I uh, just want to remind you, uh, you want to pay close attention, to Story Geeks, during the month of March, we are having a contest surrounding. Uh, you can get your hands on some J.C. Newman cigars. 
not about to release the details, but that will take place all during March uh, there. And um, it's going to include some social media tagging and some other methodology. And we're going to have a, uh, a little, uh, uh, I guess I can or can't say, but I'm going to say it. Um, we're not going to give them away. They're just going to happen to show up in your possession. So mm. there you go. Uh, so you want to pay attention to that for sure. And remember, we keep the conversation going all week long. Facebook.com forward slash Stogie Geeks. You can follow Drew on Instagram and Facebook. He does a phenomenal job every morning of posting different scars there um, of what he's having in his cigar garden before he's going to work and planning his day. Uh, I think that's super cool. Um, I usually like the ones that I had and liked, and the other ones I kind of let be. Uh, I'm going to start to be more interactive on that uh, nice. as well. Uh, Drew's email is drew at stoygeeks.com. My email is joeh at stoygeeks.com. Uh, we want to thank you for listening and watching. Email all your complaints to drew at stogiegeeks.com. Behind every Gotta cigar, be there's a story worth knowing. I want to encourage you to get out there and shop local. Special thanks to J.C. Newman, Havana Cigar Club, Placentia Cigars, and McAuliffe Cigars. Drew and I are out of here. Over and out. Peace. <laughs>